Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another Two Minute Tuesday video. This is the second one that we're doing, um, but I am enjoying these. I think these will be fun to do every week. Today's question comes up as a follow-up question to a video I posted last Wednesday. Um, it was a video about how to price your photography. So I posted in a few Facebook groups. In one group, I got a great question about shooting for free. So the question is if it's ever okay to shoot for free. They understood that, you know, how I feel about lower end shooting, but they wanted to know very specifically if shooting for free while you're building your portfolio is ever okay. So let's talk about that now. So the short answer for if you should ever shoot for free, ever, 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 is yes, of course. Shooting for free is absolutely a benefit to you and your portfolio. However, the long answer is only if it's something that's going to benefit you, you should shoot for free. So if you are building your portfolio and you have this wonderful idea and it's something you've been wanting to shoot, do a model call, shoot that session for free because it is something that you want to shoot. What is not okay and what will actually end up hurting your business is if you just shoot for free. If there's no rhyme or reason behind it, if you are just out there saying, I shoot for free because I'm learning and there's no benefit in it. Sure, your portfolio is going to be filled with lots of photos, but are these photos going to be the photos that you want to represent your business? What I mean by this is you need to keep control of your free sessions. You need to make sure that they are sessions that you love because shooting for free is working for free essentially. So unless it's going to be something that you absolutely love, then don't do it. Don't don't waste your time. So what I mean by this is keep the control for yourself. You giving control of a free session to the client might not yield the results that you want. They might not go where you want to go. They might not dress how you want to dress. There's too much control given to someone else. So it ends up being just another shoot. If it's something that comes from you and it's your idea, and it's your really your ideal client and your ideal look for these photos is what you want to photograph then that's what you need to do having 18 free family sessions in your portfolio that all look the same and there's no artistic feel because they just wanted to go to the park down the road that is not what is going to help you out in your business so I will go ahead right now and I'm going to insert a couple of photos and all of these photos are shoots that I did for free. Most of the time when I do a free shoot, they are my favorite. Whether it's just a, I need to photograph this dress, find a model, let's go. Whether there's a location I wanna try. So, hey, is there a family out there who wants to go with me and I'll give you free photos. The number, number one thing is to just make sure that you are getting something out of your free shoot. Make sure that it makes your heart happy, make sure it's what you want to do, and don't learn the hard way that when something is free, people will try to take over and that is not how you want to structure your sessions. All right, that I hope answered that question. If you have any follow up to that, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified with all of my future videos. I will see you next time for another two minute Tuesday. Bye.